we got something really special today. The folks at Art Flame sent us out one of these inserts for the Weber 22 inch, and we're using the Weber Limited Edition. This is going to be awesome. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to get this Art Flame Weber insert all prepped, seasoned, ready to go. This would be a pretty boring video if we just did a seasoning on this Art Flame. So we're going to do a cook. I'm about a mile from Jacksonville Beach. I got a pound of fresh scallops. We got a dozen oysters and a pound of some ginormous shrimp that we're going to cook on this. I hope you stay with me. This guy comes shipped in this, uh, you know, a thin box. I've already opened it up to save us some time. Everything is uh, secured with tie wraps. This is our uh, center grate. I can feel the oil on it. It's already been seasoned, or I should say it's already been oiled down. And then um, what we've got here, and I hope you can hear over that air conditioner that just kicked on. This weighs like 24 pounds, I think. Carbon steel from the U.S., made in the U.S., okay? Actually made in the Midwest. You can see it's pretty thick. It's pretty heavy. I don't know. That's probably a quarter inch, maybe more. You know, I'm not going to measure it. All right? So what the instructions say from Art Flame is they say take a mild soap and water and uh, clean it, and then we're going to get over to the Weber and season this guy. Okay, we're over at the Weber. We've washed this guy off. Now you can see the top of it. I hope you can see that. The top is all shiny. And then the other side, you know, is not polished or whatever the right word is. So this is the top of this guy. Man, it is heavy. I'm going to open this Weber up. I've got some coals going here. You can see they've even ashed over. It's pretty darn hot. Okay, this replaces your normal Weber uh, grate. Okay, so gonna I uh, got the charcoal in the center we've got our art of flame insert here now what I've got I've got some hickory wood okay I'm gonna put a few pieces of this hickory in the center that will start with those three we're gonna let this guy heat up now I've just got some olive oil here olive oil is what I should say okay I'm gonna sprinkle some on I'm gonna take this rag and what we want to do is we're going to heat this guy for about an hour, 50 minutes, we'll see. Uh, but we want to season this. And uh, what you're going to see is over time, you know, as we season this, this nice uh, silver color is going to turn black. It's been 15 minutes. I'm going to put one more piece of hickory on here. Okay. I'm going to put our center grate in. Then I'm going to hit this guy up with a little bit more olive oil. And I think I'm just going to keep hitting it up with the olive oil about every 15 minutes until she gets nice and black. I got to tell you, we're going to do this cook on this thing today also. I am super excited. Just make sure I get the center piece as well where the grill grate is. Yeah. Stay with me. It's been about an hour and a half. It's starting to look really nice. Look at how black that is. Now look, the reason it took a little bit longer, I think they suggest around an hour, is uh, my grill got down to about 350. So I put some more charcoals on here. Just look at it. And uh, everything's nice and black. Put some more charcoals on it and got the temperature back up to about 600 degrees, 550. Now what we're gonna do is put another piece of wood in there. And then we're gonna start to cook and try this art flame out. Okay, look who's here. We're gonna get this art flame. We're gonna get some stuff cooking on it. Tammy's gonna show you uh, the vegetable because I have to eat vegetables. Yeah. Show them what you got here. Vegetables. So we have to disguise the vegetables to make them eat them. So cut this okra in half, was whole. I'm stuffing it with cream cheese so Jeff will eat it. Just just putting the cream cheese in. I don't think cheese makes me want to eat a vegetable. 
you won't eat it plain. So stick it in there, put it back together, and then the magic ingredient that makes Jeff want to eat it, bacon. Oh, I might eat some bacon. <laughs> All right, and you can see she's got some other ones made up here. Hey, Rich from Rich's River Dirt out in West Virginia sent me this hot and spicy seasoning. I'm gonna season up all these, uh, what do you call this? Bacon wrap, cream cheese, okra goodness. I don't know yeah, what you call it. Stuffed okra, I don't know. I'm gonna season it up with uh, Rich's seasoning. Hey Rich, thanks a lot for sending me this out. I appreciate it. I think uh, Rich is a competition barbecue dude. And we're going to get these over on this art flame. Now, i got to tell you, I can't take it anymore. I've been waiting all day to use it. All right, let's get this okra on here. Let's get things going, guys. She's up. The grill's up to around uh, 450 right now. we get a little smoke on these uh, bacon-wrapped okras. You gotta stay with me on this cook. We got a lot of good stuff. Everything is smelling great. I'm digging this art flame already. Hey, by the way, I'll put a link to their website if you're interested in learning more about this. Okay. Got that hickory wood in here. Flip these guys over, and I'm just gonna hit them with a little bit more of this Rich's River Dirt hot and spicy rub I can tell you now there's going to be a breakfast video coming with this art flame we're going to use this bacon and this char grilled oyster sauce we're going to make tequila oyster sauce now these guys are getting close we're going to move them over here to the side I'm sorry I don't have my surface thermometer but we'll have it on the next video but the temperature, from what I've read, will be 450 to 500 over here and closer to 250 on the back. And then they just, the instructions say to just keep shoving this oil and grease from the food back down into the center. Okay, we got our okra off to the side. What I've got here, Apalachicola oysters, best in the world. We're going to char grill up some of these, see how this turns out. You know, I got that hickory wood down in there. I tell you, this is a lot of fun, a lot of fun. And Tammy has got, I, I, you know, we camp a lot. You guys have seen some of our videos. Um, she's going to make, or she's going to, I'm going to make it, but it's her recipe. Her tequila oyster sauce. All right. We got a dozen of these. You want to give me your pan and tell me what to do here? Yeah. So, your pan. Okay. So, guys, I got to move these a little bit to get the pan on here. I'm sorry. Oh, I need some. You can see I didn't plan this out well. Let me just get these oysters over here like so. It won't take them long, two, three, five minutes, as soon as these shells start opening up. Here's my pan. What do we got here, Tammy? Just okay, tell folks. So it's butter, um, Worcestershire sauce, and tequila in there. Okay. And then dry ingredients. You have sage. Um, red bell pepper, black pepper, coriander seed, and um, rosemary. Um, I gotta tell you guys. And you didn't get it all out. There's still some in there. Or fennel seed, not coriander. I'm sorry, fennel seed. I said that wrong. I've had this ten times. It's one of the best oyster sauces if you want a char grill of oysters that you can make. And then as soon as you get that melted down, um, you want to just crumble the bacon. And if you remember, I made some extra bacon just for this oyster sauce, oyster dipping sauce, whatever you want to call it. Um, 
It's only been a couple of minutes. That sauce, all you want to do is just get it all melted off. I'm going to get this sauce off here. Get these oysters off to the side. I'll tell you, this is awesome. Next thing I'm going to do is make some scallops. Just going to put another pan on here. Got some butter in here, honey, garlic, sriracha, and, and you heard Tammy, and some ginger. This is her creation. Okay? Going to heat this up because these scallops are only going to take like four minutes. I want to get my sauce made first. Now for my honey, I'm using this barrel aged hot honey from Red Clay out of Georgia. I got to tell you, it's like a uh, spiced up honey. You know, you can use regular honey, but this is going to give you so much more flavor. I'll put a link in this uh, video, a card, whatever it's called, so that you can learn more about it. All we're going to do is get this butter melted and get this sauce off, and then we're going to get to those scallops. All right, you can see we got that sauce and butter all melted in together. I'm going to get this off here and make way for these ginormous scallops we've got. I'm just going to put a little oil here. Okay. I'm going to get those scallops on. You hear that sizzle? Tell you, I'm digging this art flame. We'll taste it and find out in a minute. Now you can just season these with salt and pepper. Don't go too much on seafood. You've seen my videos, don't go too much. But I'm going to use this Rich's River Dirt. It's hot and spicy. Rich, thank you again. I'm going to go real light. You don't want to overpower seafood. You can see I got a real light coat on those boys. We're going to let them go one, two minutes, flip them over. Scallops been on here maybe a minute, two minutes. Look at that. You don't want to overcook these scallops, okay? Look at the beautiful color on them. It's been another two minutes on this side. Look at that. Look at that. These are beautiful. I'm going to get these scallops off here. I do not want to overcook these guys. They're like uh, $16 a pound, right? So you don't, want to, you don't want to screw these up. Let me get them off of here. We'll finish those. We'll do those shrimp I mentioned to you. Jumbo Mayport shrimp. And then we're going to put all this together. I can't wait. All right, now we're going to make those Mayport shrimp. We picked up a bottle of this uh, Safe Harbor a la Moana coconut mango seafood sauce. Tammy couldn't, you know, use the sauce by itself. She mixed in some rum. What else? Key lime juice. Key lime juice. And sriracha. And sriracha. Okay. It's going to be awesome. Let me get these shrimp out of here. Ah, you heard that, didn't you? I can smell the sriracha. The shrimp's the last thing we're going to cook on this uh, art flame for our inaugural adventure. Is that the word? Inaugural? Sure. <laughs> and then we're going to give it all a taste test. Our shrimp been cooking on here for like a minute each side. Look at those. They're beautiful. We're going to get them off here. We're going to give all this a try. We're going to put a little of this scallop sauce on there. Okay. You go ahead and try one. I don't need a fork. Just dig it. Oh my gosh. Juicy, spicy from the sauce. Holy crap, are they good. Raw to shrimp. You know, I sort of forgot there's a vegetable we gotta eat. Bacon wrapped okra. <laughs> it's so good. It's okay, but it's not like those scallops and shrimp. Okay. 
Fuck yeah, it's that. Okay. We're gonna get that sauce on there, Tammy made. Hey, thanks again for the art flame, folks. We're gonna do some more videos with this thing. This turned out awesome. Oh, the oysters are the best. Everything on here is awesome. Yeah, it's really good. Give us a big, big thumbs up if you guys like this video. If you're looking forward to more of these art flame videos, we're gonna do some more. Thank you.